Well, hey guys, welcome back to Try This DIY. My name is Alan, and in today's video, I want to show you how you can completely replace everything inside the toilet with a universal kit. This is going to help you save money and also save some time as well because you don't have to replace the entire toilet, just everything inside. And I know how important it is to get these toilets back up and running because while I was actually having to fix this one in my own home, two of my three kids had the stomach bug. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, first off, before you do anything, you always want to turn your water off. Make sure your water has been turned off. Also, you can have a cup or even just a towel underneath here just to catch the water. And make sure all the water's out. Then you can flush the toilet. It gets out. Then you can go ahead and use a shop vac or also a sponge or anything to get all the water out of there to make sure it's all gone. Next, you're going to remove your wash apply line by just unscrewing it off of here. It should come right off. Again, make sure you have something to catch it in case excess water is coming out of there. The next thing you're going to do while you're right here is just go ahead and unscrew this flush valve nut that's holding on here. You can unscrew this all the way once you get this all the way off. Then you can remove your flush valve right here. Make sure you unplug it from whatever is plugged into in yours. Minus that right there. Unplug, take that out. Set that aside. Then you'll go to your next step. The next thing you want to remove is this item right here. You want to go ahead and take the top off. You can unscrew it. If yours is another toilet, it might even be easier, but this is for a Mansfield. Then you'll just slip this right off. You can take that out. Another thing you need to do is just even the flush handle. And so the way you remove the one I have is you just pull out these little ends right here, these two little end pieces. You just pull those out and the other piece will come right out like this. And so you should be able to try that for yours and hopefully that's how it works for yours as well. This next part is pretty tough. As you can tell, I've already removed my bolts. I've removed two of them, but there's one left. I just wanted to show you what I did. Um, you can use a screwdriver and you can kind of get down in that groove to be able to remove that. Again, it's just kind of clockwise to remove it and screw it out. You can also use uh, some type of ratchet on the bottom. You'll probably have to hold this in and ratchet out the bottom. Um, but what I did is two of mine came out pretty easily, but the other one did not. And so I tried a few things that didn't work, but I finally found something that did. I don't recommend this, but if you have to do it, you have to do it. I used a drill and actually just put my drill bit right in the middle right here and just drilled until it came out and so this is the outside edge you can see of the piece right here this is the top that it looks similar to that i just screwed it until it actually came out so that might be something you have to do if you can't get these bolts out of your toilet um, you might have to use a drill and there's a couple other things you could even try and cut it with a hacksaw as well but Try your best to get it out with a screwdriver and a ratchet or a screwdriver and some type of device to just screw it out first. But if that doesn't work, you can try the drill method where you just, again, put the drill bit right here in the middle and just try to drill it out until it does this and you can pick it up and it should be good to go. Next thing you're going to do after you've gotten your tank off of your toilet, you're going to go ahead and remove this gasket. This is your tank to bowl gasket. Um, you're going to remove this. I had a little bit of trouble with mine. It was really tight on there and, and my toilet's pretty old. Um, and so I had to use a strap wrench. I'll leave one of those in the description. That might help you guys out. Or even just some type of pipe or even a monkey wrench might be really helpful right here as well. But you need to get all of this off. Then we can start putting everything back on and get going again. One other thing, you want to make sure that you stuff this hole um, that the, the hole that's coming out of the toilet, you don't want any of those gases or anything coming out into your bathroom, especially if this is going to be a two-day project. So just stuff some toilet paper or paper towels down there. It should be fine. Also, check out the cool wallpaper behind our toilet. The next thing we're going to do is replace this flush valve. So this is what came in our kit. Uh, again, I'll have this link in the description, but you're going to go ahead and put this into the bowl, put it in the top. Make sure you don't block any of these screws, and then we'll screw in this gasket right here back in there to seal it off. So let's go ahead and do that. So you wanna go ahead and put your flush valve back on and tighten it with uh, your nut right here. You also wanna make sure that none of the parts are blocking any of these holes. So when you put it in there, make sure it's smooth and it doesn't, again, block any of these holes, and then we'll show you what to do next. 
Next, you want to put your tank to bowl gasket on. Just right here, it's going to sit right there and then it's going to go onto the toilet. Next thing you want to do is replace these bolts so that your tank will be securely onto the toilet itself. I actually had to buy another bolt because uh, my toilet has three and it only came with two in the pack. So you might have to buy another one. It says you can try to use the old ones, but the old ones on mine were destroyed. But what you're going to do is put them like this up top. And then these two are going to go on the bottom to secure it onto the tank. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you've got all the bolts in, you wanna go ahead and tighten them down as tight as they can go. You don't wanna mess anything up, but you wanna tighten it down so that your bolt does not move at all. So if it does, you need to keep going, but just be really careful with that. And then we'll go into the next step. The next thing you'll need to do is to measure this hole right here. This is your tank lever hole. Your flush valve needs to be one inch below that. So what you wanna do is measure the depth of this and then measure where that would end up and you want to go one inch below that and cut this pipe off so that again you'll have some clearance so the hole again the water will not go out of this hole right here so for this i just used uh, a little hacksaw blade and went ahead and cut off again for me it was nine inches to make sure that it was at least one inch lower than this little flush hole right here so there you go that's your step let's go ahead and jump into the next one the next thing you're gonna do is put your fill valve back in. You wanna make sure this approximately three inches above your flush valve. And if you need to, you can adjust it. Um, you can pull this out and you can adjust it and make sure it's tall enough. But then you can go ahead and crank it in. So just like before, you're gonna go ahead and put your nut on this to make sure it is secure to the toilet tank. Next thing what you're gonna do is attach your hose to this refill clip. I had to cut mine because it was a little long. You're gonna go ahead and attach that and then put this onto the flush valve itself. There you go. Next thing you're gonna do is install your flapper. Just goes right on top right there and just clips right into those little clips. And then we're gonna to have to put in the flush in order to put that all the way in. Next thing you're gonna do is slide in your flush valve right here in its spot and just go ahead and tighten that down. Next thing you want to do is attach your chain to your handle. There's different holes you can see in here. So you can attach it to whichever different hole you want. And then you can also adjust this chain. You want to have a little bit of play in there, but you don't want it to be too loose that it's not going to flush. So you can adjust that if you need to. Next thing you need to do is attach your water back to your tank. I actually have another video in case something ever happens to yours. I can show you that right now, how to fix this. But you wanna tighten this all the way as you can. Um, I might not have said, but you don't wanna over tighten anything on the toilet, especially because you're dealing with you know, porcelain and pieces and stuff like that. So you wanna be really careful when you're tightening this. So you don't over tighten, just hand tighten as best you can. Now you can go ahead and turn the water on and see if it works. All right, so it filled all the way up. Everything flushed and I think it works. I don't hear a leak. Everything looks good. So it's been a couple weeks since I replaced everything in my toilet. It's been working just fine and I wanted to let you guys know if you have any other questions about toilets, you can check out one of these other videos that have popped up here in your end screen. I'd also love to know if this video was helpful. You could leave a like or subscribe to the channel. That'd really help me out. And then lastly, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. I'd love to help you out with those as well. But I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.